Hello friends! Today I want to share with you why drawing is so important to me and how it happened that I draw it all. Welcome back to my art channel Momo Hoskin. Or if you are new, hey, my name is Momo and I draw. <laughs> In fact, I draw since I can remember and what inspired me to start drawing was my older sister. She drew a lot when we were kids and I guess I imitated her. Back then, Pokemon came out, I mean the first 151, and I was drawing Pokemon from stickers and cards and everything I could find. I got a whole collection of really bad Pokemon drawings. Hey, if you want me to make a video about my childhood drawings and maybe a redraw, let me know in the comments below or vote in the poll at the top right corner. Or do both. My sister drew a lot of those painting by number things. I don't mean those tiny child friendly ones, but those large, more artsy ones. Meanwhile, I got more into anime art and created characters and stories and drew comics and such. I remember I got angry because she was praised for doing those paintings so well, whereas my original art wasn't treated as such a success. I called her out for tracing and copying as if our family didn't knew, they just didn't care. It took me years to realize she wasn't praised for the artistic value of what she did, but all the patience and dedication she put into it. I don't know many teenagers who would spend many hours coloring in tiny numbered fields for one single painting. Yet I wish I would have received more support in what I do. I never was held back though. I always got pencils and erasers and paper when I asked for it. And nobody told me that art cannot be a real job or something among those lines. In my teenage years I did not draw much. There have been some years in which I didn't draw at all. And if I did, most times there was just doodles on class notes because I wasn't paying attention. What I cannot recommend. Pay attention in class and always do your homework. It will save you so much time later during finals, believe me. Speaking of finals, that was about the time I got back into drawing. Figuring out that I want to study art when I finish school, I prepared my portfolio. Sadly, no university I applied to accepted me, so I ended up with a part-time job in a shop for buying gold and jewelry and such, which allowed me to spend more time on refining my drawing skills. I was devastated, being taken down so many times, but it got me thinking about my art. It made me realize my art wasn't as good as I thought it was which was hurtful, but also important. Like I mentioned in the last video, I improved a lot since then. Choosing a part-time job was a luxury that allowed me to work on my art, and I did. Sophia Lu inspired me to make this video when she asked why we, her viewers, draw in one of her recent videos. At first I thought, hm, well it's the only thing I'm good at, but later it got me thinking, why am I good at art? And the answer is because I spent countless hours practicing. For me it is fascinating to share what is in my mind, to explore and figure out how things work and how I can draw them the way they look in my imagination. I can sort things and bring structure to the chaos in my head by drawing too. For example, Vent art can help with anxious, angry or sad feelings, but as an artist I can also share happiness and joy with funny or silly drawings. And just as I mentioned in my previous video, mindless doodling helps me with calming down and cope with stress. I kept drawing even though my family preferred my sister's art. And even though I was rejected by art schools, I was determined to persuade my dream of art. I think that shows that my art is more than just a hobby for me and improves the meaning it has to me. I even experienced my depression worsens when I wasn't able to create for a few days. 
I think, therefore, I can claim that, at least for me, drawing can be therapeutic. I just have realized that art isn't just about creating, so I might add that I also love to consume art. Especially on days when I don't especially feel like drawing much, I always end up looking at my friends' art and artists I admire and what they shared online. I am very thankful that today's media allows me to look at so much art content and that so many artists share their art and it's all for free. From an artist's point of view, this is an amazing time we live in. On to the art piece you see. This is a digital portrait I made for Blind Cerberus at Twitter. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. They helped me with my grammar and I wanted to thank them by drawing their OC. I am very thankful I got the opportunity to draw such a unique character because I'm sliding among the edge of art blog again for some time now. In fact, I was about to quit art for that day when I remembered I wanted to draw them. And I do like the finished drawing even among its flaws. I was able to nail the expression I was aiming for. I do like the contrast and value in between the main color and the hair and the collar. The color spikes and the long pointy ears also make an interesting silhouette. Off recording I added some more gradients and filters, but I don't think these are too interesting to watch. But hey, if I'm wrong please let me know, I made a poll at the top right corner for you to vote. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know. Don't forget to comment below if you want to see my old, old childhood art. Also subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of my art videos every Wednesday. A subscription is completely free but makes me happy. This video is a response to Safira Lu. Please check out her channel. Her videos are inspiring, motivating and interesting to watch. You will find the link in the description below as well as an info card at the top right corner. Have a good day and stay creative friends!